Well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jan Erickson from Stepping Aside. I'm going to try this again here. I got as far as the, uh, the, the runes. I pulled those. I haven't started the cards yet, but I like what I have. Uh, so let's go. I started talking about it, so let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the uh, runes for today. Uh, it's somewhat daily tarot and rune for the 28th day of January, 2020. Uh, it's a Thursday, so we've got some Jupiter energy working today, some expansiveness going on today. Um, but the as with Monday, we had um, we had Thurazaz and Aquisidio as the runes uh, for that for that that sort of drove the rest of the reading, and so breaking through challenges that to to then have gain result of some kind to achieve some some other purpose, some desired goal. Um, and we had the Four of Pentacles, which was miserliness. We had the Hierophant, which is spiritual mastery. I mean, it's more, they're more complicated than that, but we're just going to find some keywords just to, you know, give an idea of what we had last, last Monday. And then we had the Ten of Swords, which is the, the uh, uh, daylight is, is returning. You know, all the swords are piercing the back of the person. They're dead on the ground. Well, it's the end of illusion, basically. Uh, and so, so basically how we ultimately, uh, interpreted that is we were transmuting, uh, faulty perceptions to spirit on Monday, uh, so that we could then move on, uh, with one another. Um, and today, uh, I drew Thurazaz again. <laughs> so we're going to be breaking through more obstacles, I guess. That's going to be an ongoing thing, I think, for a while, whether we draw it or we don't. Uh, but we also have Cauda Draconis, which is the uh, geomancy rune for the end of the matter. It's represented by the, 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 the south node of the moon. So when you talk about the nodes, the, the north node is about the future and, and sometimes the present, but the you know future goals and all of that, the future direction. Uh, but with the south node, you're bringing in past experience. Whether And, and oftentimes they're, they're, they're thinking about it in terms of, of uh, past life experience. So there you would have karma. Um, but the whole notion of past, present, and future is probably an illusion anyway. I just think everything has ha I think all the, the so-called lives and experiences happen at once in a multi-layered uh, experience or universe or whatever you want to call that. And so you're, you're, you're bringing in awarenesses, though, uh, of experiences from other, other incarnations, basically. Uh, and it's still you, so it stands to reason that that's going to happen that way. But it can also mean the end of the matter. It can mean the lower threshold. It can mean uh, uh, just basically endings. And so maybe we're going to see a, an end to some of the challenges that we've been facing, especially if it's uh, 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 perception-driven, which tells me that what is likely going to happen is more and more information is going to be coming out that's going to set the course better for us uh, and, and, and is going to remove the, the, the perceptions that were taking us down a very violent and conflict-oriented experience. Um, so I would just, I, I know that, that it, it seems like every day something else comes out, some more information comes out about what the plan was and who was all in on it and all of that on the, on January 6th. But I really think that you're going to start to see it really, uh, because they've had time to investigate. They've had time to interview people. So we know about the people in Congress that that are at least alleged to be involved in this whole heinous act of insurrection. So so maybe we're going to start to see some of the, the challenge that we've been facing uh, dissipate a little bit. Now, if it isn't regarding that, maybe it has to do with the with the, uh, the the vaccine. We you know, we found out that they had no idea where anything went. Uh, and maybe that was by design. Uh, so I mean, you know, now now we're going to have, you know, more vaccines available at some point, but it takes time for them to manufacture them. And so as soon as we get them, you know, then we'll have them and they'll, we'll have the opportunity to get vaccinated if that's what you choose to do, which I highly recommend. You know, I, I just think that it makes sense right now. You know, you can, I know people are uncomfortable with some people anyway, are uncomfortable with the idea of vaccinations, but I, I think that they've stood the test of time. So 
I think right now it's going to help us achieve that. At least that's what they're saying is going to help us achieve herd immunity a lot more quickly if we do the, if we if we do indeed take the vaccine. So, but you know you have to have it to do it, right? And so that's where they're at now. So we're learning some truth there <clears throat> that can again. Uh, maybe alter our perceptions, you know, maybe as you realize all of the deception that was going on, if you supported these people, well, maybe you're beginning to realize that, that there was a little bit of a con involved there. So again, you know, Thurisaz can break through those kinds of experiences to where you can, you can come out on the other side of it, understanding a little more and, and, and maybe, you know, at that point you might reject where you've been and you might start considering a new, you know, course of action, you know, a course correction, if you will. So I, I don't know. We'll see. Now on a personal level, you know, you could be experiencing some challenges in your life. Aren't we all? It just seems to all center around the virus though right now the challenges that we face but if there's any others that you're dealing with you know you could be seeing an end to some of it here with with this particular uh, uh with these particular runes again since we have thurazaz again today instead of something else you know coming out of the bag because i don't i don't decide it i just set the intention and put my hand in there and start you know, letting them fall through my fingers. And, and then when the last one is there, that's the one. And it was Thurazaz. So, you know, clearly we're experiencing challenges that we need to, and obstacles that we need to overcome. <clears throat> now, whether or not it's truly signaling with Cauda Draconis the end of something, or if, if we're able to use, or maybe it's that we're able to use past experience to enlighten us, but then, see, maybe we can then use that to then break through the challenges and end the, the, the issues that we're dealing with or an issue that we're dealing with. So anyhow, um, you guys can decide how this applies to what's going on in your life. But this is the kind of the energetic momentum of that. So just see how it applies for you and, and then see if, if there's a way that you can break through something today that you've kind of been stuck in. And, uh, you know, using past experience to help you do that and, and uh, uh, putting an end to something that, that didn't need to probably be happening to begin with. So, or if it was, it was just to demonstrate something that you needed to learn. So anyhow, um, I've been, I've, I've started putting the rune divinations from the uh, magical correspondences or forecasts for the day. I've started putting those on Medium, a little more expanded version of them. So if you want to check those out, I don't know if they're going to go up every day, but uh, but it, it pro if I like the if I like the divination, I'll put it up there. Let's put it that way. So at least once a week it will go up, maybe more. So anyhow, check that out over there. Uh, link is below the video to my to my Medium page, so you can look there if you like. Anyhow, um, also there's a Patreon page that I have if you want to look at uh, some stuff over there. Uh, I try to put different things in different places that I write. And so, you know, Patreon, some of it's open to public, some of it's patron. Uh, it just costs a dollar to join my page there a month. You can do it for the year if you want. Uh, uh, and, and so that would be $12 for the year. Um, other than that, there's also a link below the video here for that as well. So, so anyhow, um, I guess that's enough to get us started here. Let's go ahead and take our cards. And again, I'm not going to take the 13th one each time anymore. I'm just going to lay the three out. And I think I've shuffled enough. So hopefully I don't draw the same cards again. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to my original method. <laughs> I was doing that. I was getting the same cards in the very beginning when I started this. And so I thought, well, heck, why don't I just take random ones and, and interpret that as the reading? And so that's what I why I was doing what I was doing. Anyway, let's go ahead and take the cards. All right. Well, we have the Ace of Cups. We have Judgment. And we have the Ten of Cups. So, 
already. We have a 2, a 9, that's 11, 12, that's, thir that, that's 12, so that's a 3. Did I say the 10 of cups? I'm sorry, the 9 of cups. Duh. <laughs> I'm going blind. <laughs> anyway, so we have 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, so again, a 3 numerology for the reading. Um, and, and three has to do with communication. It's, it's the deals with the, the, the planet and the God Mercury. Um, so interactions, communication, the air element, uh, mind, body, spirit balance. Uh, it deals with imagination and, and creativity. Um, but basically how we're expressing ourselves. Um, and we have two from the suit of cups. And so we're talking a preponderance of emotion, uh, and compassion, um, with the ace, we have it, it, it basically contains all of the, the cards of the whole uh, uh, suit of cups within it. Uh, it. It contains all of the energy. And then from there, it expands out into different kinds of, of experiences that it talks about. Um, and so here we have the ace, and then we go clear to the nine after we experience... Uh, a rebirth of sorts or a rebirth of perception, then we can begin. Or we can look at it as the significator and talk about it first and what is the effect of, 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 of the 20th card of the Major Arcana Judgment. So why don't we do it that way? Let's start with that first. So we have the 20th card uh, reduces to two, so you're talking balance and harmony. And you see the flag, you see, you see the angel Gabriel above blowing his horn. You see everybody coming out of their caskets. They're naked, not because, not, well, because you died. Well, I mean, I mean, oftentimes you dress people, but I don't even know why. But anyway, um, but at this point, all that they were is over. And all that they represented was over. And now it's almost like a clean slate. Well, it is. And so now you're going to take a look back at, at all of the experiences that you had and what achieved resolution, you know, if it had to do with the theme that you came into, into life with, into, into, into the incarnation with, you know, were you able to accomplish what you set out to do here? Uh, were you able to not just assist yourself, but assist others uh, on the on the path to awakening and enlightenment? And that's basically what you're talking about with judgment. You're talking about awakening and enlighten and enlightenment because that's basically what's happening here. They're awakening out of their caskets, out of their coffins, with the blowing of of uh, Gabriel's horn. He awakens them to truth. Now you see that that pennant, that flag that's right there, the, the red cross, um, it indicates healing. Uh, the other thing that it indicates, and I, I drew this out so I don't have to always do it and then do it rapidly and then I, it looks messy. So anyway, what we have here, here's your cross. The horizontal line is the abyss or the line of, of uh, incarnation, if you want to call it that, where you, you move through you know the energy congeals together you focus in and you become and you and you enter into these bodies right the 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 soul becomes part of the body it's infused into the body um probably electrically is probably how it happens a sort of an electrical kind of 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 alignment that happens uh probably aligning with the uh uh, uh the chakras there, that's basically what it's aligning with are the energy centers of our body. And so, so when that happens, it, the spirit is actually probably infusing into that. And then from there, it informs, hopefully, if the personality or ego listens, it informs our path forward so that we then are in alignment with the theme we chose and we understand that what's happening is, 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 is along that whole measure, right? We measure it by that. But, but typically, uh, we end up down here. <laughs> There's your in focus into form. This is the, the, the through the abyss. It'd be nice if we were up here because then we would know that in fact, you know, we are spirit inhabiting these bodies. But we, but we don't necessarily know that, do we? 
Now, also on this line, what you're also doing is you're talking about polarity, feminine and masculine, or receptive and projective presence. And so the judgment card is not so much judgment, and in fact, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the, the non-traditional decks will call it something else. They'll call it eon, or they'll call it rebirth, or something like that, because that's basically... It's, it's that transition point into something new, all right? There, it's not a, a you, we think judgment and we think that's harsh and negative, but it isn't. That's not what this is really talking about. It's just going back and taking a look at, okay, how'd I do? Did I, did I master the theme I set out with? Do I need to go and try it again somewhere else? Uh, you know, what do we need to do? Uh, so, so basically, um, I need to stop for just a second because uh, this is actually not communicating anymore and I don't know why. It's kind of weird. It keeps telling me my connection's lost. Well, no, it's still going. And I don't see an, I don't see a little alert up there. So the only way I can turn this off is with my mouse. <laughs> so it's losing connection. So we'll just get, we'll just keep going and, you know, I'll just deal with it if that's what happens. Um, but anyhow, uh, so basically we become awakened with the card of judgment. We come back into balance, balanced polarity, balanced awareness. Uh, and, and then from there, you know, we don't, have to, we don't have to die to do this though. That's the other thing. At any moment, your perceptions can shift into a whole other realm here of, of awareness. You know, and if it's spirit based, if you're not coming from the standpoint of ego, you know, you can make the course corrections you need now while you're still in body to then achieve what it is you came here to do instead of getting caught up in the reaction of everything. Right. Again, again, there is as we're breaking through barriers, you know, and maybe using past experience or past life experience to help us do that to bring us into the awareness that we need to have right now and the shift in perception that we need to take to get there, right? And when we do, we have the beginnings of new emotional genesis. Now you're going to see the same cross right here with the Dove of Peace dropping that disc down into the water in the, in the chalice. We see a hand reaching out from the cloud, which is a, a familiar theme in tarot, often in the aces, but not just there. But we have a chance to begin again with emotions and, 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 and intuition and compassion and empathy to realign that. There's been such a, a lack of that, hasn't there? Where we can't see. It, it's like we talk about the last president having no empathy. Well, no, he doesn't. There's, there's a uh, whatever is wrong with him, and there's plenty, believe me. Um, part of it is that they don't. People like him, they don't have empathy for others. They can never put themselves in the position of, of understanding what the other, where the other person is coming from or what their plight in life is, what their life is like, what are the challenges that they face, right? If you can break through that lack of empathy and develop that, then suddenly it opens a whole other experience for you. But sometimes you come into this life and you're so service to self, because that's the, the balance. You're either service to others or you're service to self. And it's not that being uh, focused on the self is necessarily a bad thing, but sometimes, depending on how far you take it, you have what you had with the last president. Um, he, everything about him is transactional. There is no, I'm going to do something good because it makes me feel good to know that now you're taken care of because your situation matters to me. No, 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 no. That's not what it was. It, it, it's something entirely uh, uh, emotionless and no empathy at all. But here with the Ace of Cups and understanding that we now have the opportunity for new perceptions and awareness to take hold, we have the opportunity to extend a hand to others in compassion and grace and dignity and love and compassion, empathy. I think I said compassion twice there, but it's important. Simplest way to do that right now during a pandemic is to wear a mask and to stay to stay apart from one another. Just give people some room when you're in the grocery store. You know, if it means you have to turn around and go around and come back in the other side of the aisle, that's what you do. But it's take it. You're not just protecting yourself. You're protecting them for something you might have and you don't realize it. It's masking up. 
It's, it's not wearing it below the nose so you can breathe out the virus if you have it, right? It's not wearing simply a face shield because the virus goes everywhere if you have it. There's nothing to contain it, right? If all you're wearing is a face shield. So you've got to wear a mask. And now, with the variants, they're saying two masks, you know? Uh, since none of us can really get the 95, the N95s, we bought some KN95s, which are five-layered. And then we bought a set of surgical masks. Uh, we, and you can use the cloth mask if you want to, but it may be that the surgical mask might fit better over the KN95 than a cloth one would. But, but whatever you've got, you know, do it. Multi-layer now, because we don't know about this variants, the different ones that are out there. There's more than one. And it's com they're coming, in. some of them are already here. I don't know about the South African one, but I know the UK one is. I believe I, believe I heard the Brazil one was, but, but, I'm not, but I don't know how, maybe there's only one case now. I don't know. There may not be any more than that. But once you get one, I mean, you know, you're going to have more. It just stands to reason. This is what happens with new viruses. They mutate. And so different variants pop up. And some might be more contagious than others. Some might have a worse effect than others. We don't think that's, they don't think that's what's happening right now in terms of, of, of the effect, but the contagion is more maybe. So we all just have to be a little more careful and that's what they're recommending now. So we went out and got them and uh, we've not used them yet because we haven't been out to the store yet. But the next time we go, we'll put them both on and we'll see how that works and make the adjustments we need. But again, it's having the ability to see beyond the self to the bigger picture and that's what the ace of cups really means because we know we know just from the emotional feeling we have surrounding it you know that's that's the re that's the emotional resonance of the ace of cups we know the effect of not listening to the scientists because people die and for some people at least that matters well there's your empathy right it matters that people have lost other people so when we change our, we have a shift in perception, when we break through the barriers and the obstacles that our own perceptions uh, have created by choosing to believe something that isn't true, let's just, let's just define it that way for the moment, we see this happy, jolly fellow sitting there. He's not, he doesn't have his arms crossed in, because typically, you know, when you have your arms crossed, it's defensive posture. Well, not this guy. You know, he's... Uh, He's uh, sitting on the bench. He's all happy with himself. He's got nine chalices behind him. I believe the 10, isn't the 10 the one where you've got the, uh, the family or something that, that's there and, and they're, they're, the, the children are dancing and mom and dad have their, their arms raised on each, the one arm raised on each one of them does. And they're looking back at their, at their home on the little hill and they're all, ha they're all happy and fulfilled. Well, if you look at nine instead of, because the 10 would be one, so that would be new beginnings. Well, here you have nine with endings. Well, now the emotional drama is over because you've had a shift in, in perception and in, via awakening to spirit. And you're now, be, you're now able to move forward in balance and harmony and unity of emotional expression and compassion and empathy with others. You see, it's that interaction that we seek, really. Um, in a service to self-individual, they don't care about the interactions that they have. They care about what those interactions can do for them. But now we see a shift in perception, maybe, that's happening with the judgment card and with Thurizaz, making use of, of what we know to be true. Uh, the experiences that we've had, judging the lies against that. And, and now people, I think, are beginning to realize that whatever this was, uh, it sucked in a lot of people. Not just regular people in the country, you know, that aren't in office, but also people in offices around the country. Not just the, the federal, not, not just on the federal level. It got them everywhere. And then it became an us versus them experience, didn't it? And it still is, very much so, uh, particularly surrounding whether or not we're going to stay safe around one another. Uh, people have decided that it's just a hoax, it's not true, I'm going to go do as I please. Well, that's certainly one way to look at it. 
is certainly one choice to make, but it's extraordinarily counterproductive. And now that we don't have the, ma the, the vaccines in the national supply that they said we did, that they were releasing there at the end of December sometime, I think it was, wasn't it? Or first part of January, we're releasing these now. How do you release something that you know you don't have? Major big lie going out the door. Well, if they lied about that, what else did they lie about? Well, it turns out plenty. So, so I think that, again, a shift in perception is needed. <coughs> we break through that, those barriers with Thurzaz. We use the past to influence all of that so that we know. You know, it's like, it's like when someone says something to you and you're not sure if, you're, if they're telling you the truth. So maybe you go ask people you know. Maybe you think back to your own experience and you try to figure out, is that true or not? Well, it's almost like because that person spoke to people's internal grievances, the checks and balances did not take place. It's like, oh, my savior. No. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you know, we need to get back on track. And, and, and if we do that then we have a new a level of compassion and empathy and understanding for the greater picture that will occur, right? You know, use your intuition. This is a card of intuition, not just empathy. Use your intuition. Use that inner voice that you know is telling you something doesn't feel right here. I spent four years doing that. Well, five if you count the campaign. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. But then I also had my past experience was I already knew who this guy was. A lot of us did. So it's like, oh, no, no, no. He can't be there. You know, uh, that's what this was. Too many people knew who he was. And unfortunately, you know, how I, I don't know how it happened, but he got elected. You know, the electoral college made that happen you know, based on how many electors the different states have. And so because of the uh, arrangement that was made surrounding that eons ago, I don't know when the Electoral College came into, into play, but, but it was, I think, to, to, to deal with smaller states. They felt they had less of an input. I, I think it also had something to do with Confederate states, but I don't know. I'll, I'm going to research all that and figure that out because I know people have been talking about it periodically, but it's always something like, oh, I need to go look that up. So however that happened, it created a setting that instead of majority rule, which is what it should be, somehow a little game got played there. So we need to end that game and do away with that. But that'll come in time. But the bottom line was, bottom line was is we had somebody in there who had no empathy and everything he did undid all protections we had all all you know for the little guy basically and gave all of this stuff to corporations because after all only the rich people matter right and somehow people thought that was okay well no it's not because in the nc you don't have you don't have the ability to then truly take care of the country not as a whole and you and you basically give some people, your supporters, the idea that, oh, I'm taking care of you when they're not doing anything of the kind. Nothing of the kind is like that is happening, right? So if we allow the, the perceptions to shift at this point, we can come back maybe into another level of harmony together to where even if we disagree, that's fine, but at least we're trying to go in the same direction to happiness and fulfillment. To have the end of the drama and, 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 and to have empathy and compassion return to the experience, to the decisions that are made, to the conversations that are had, to the, to the, the families and friendships that need healing. So... So again, you know, I guess we're going to think think about, you know, the uh, uh, how we deal with challenges uh, a little more here <laughs> for the rest of the week. Um, we'll meet again on Monday for this, uh, and and we'll start again. I won't I won't keep track of this reading or anything, or maybe I will, and we'll just see. You know, are we if I especially if I if I draw thoroughs as again on Monday, then we're going to know. Oh, okay, we're still in this, you know, place. Uh, February. Does February start on, on, on Monday? Is that is that when that is? Let me look here really quick. 
Uh, yeah, so it'll be February 1st in bulk on that day. Uh, and uh, that's the time when the, uh, in bulk is the time when the, uh, 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 the lambs are born. So, uh, so we're seeing a little bit of a shift, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a, uh, a holiday for pagans and witches and all of that. So, so that'll be Monday, uh, in bulk evil be Sunday night. Um, so it's kind of cool. We have a full moon tonight and, and, uh, uh, so there's going to be lots of things going on, you know, here over the weekend with in bulk. I don't know if people are going to celebrate it this weekend or if they'll wait, just kind of depends on your schedule. Um, or, or what you do for it. Uh, but uh, uh, also on Sunday, we'll do the Esoteric Influences reading, and uh, that'll get published and uh, on the blog, and we'll also do it in video form. So I'll be here for that again on Sunday. So watch for that and check that out if you want to. And then again, like I say, we'll meet on Monday and again on Thursday, and I'll keep track of Monday's reading, and, and so we can talk about it on Thursday as it relates. Um, and I guess that's it. So have a good weekend. Uh, again, wear a mask if you go out around anyone at all, whether you're inside or out. Have a mask on over the nose. <laughs> and be good to yourself. Be good to one another. And blessed be.